Hey ladies, it's Amanda. I showed you a video earlier today on a day look and I have gotten dressed. I've been running around all day and I'm ready to transform my day look into an evening look. Uh, I'm going to dinner. Um, I've curled my hair earlier today. I just kind of left it straight because I knew I wanted to have it freshly curled this evening and I'm going to transform this day look into a nice evening look um, out on the town. So first up, um, I'm going to freshen up my pressed powder on my face. It, honestly, I've been running around all day. It doesn't even need freshened up, but I just want to feel like I did a full face all at once. So here we go. So I'm going to start there. I already have the primer on my face. This has been lasting all day. I don't even take my compact anymore. when I'm out and about to touch up because I literally do not need it. I feel like my makeup stays the same at 5 p.m. Um, than it does when I put it on at 8 a.m. Um, it's incredible. So there's that. All right, we're gonna vamp up my cheekbones. I'm gonna start with the Beachfront Bronzer. This is the color Malibu and I love this puffer brush. Um, I'm really gonna tap off the excess here. Any leftover, I'm just going to put under my jawline and transfer that a little down onto my neck. Trying not to get too crazy. I'm, I'm going to take a smaller brush here, tap it, and I'm going to put it along my hairline. Connect it to the jawline or the cheekbone and then down to the jawline. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take the blush This is the color Sweet. I love this color. It's a good year-round color. And make the dumbest face I don't care. I don't care if you judge me. It's what is. Okay, so now take um, a little miniature blush brush or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to accentuate my upper jawbone. A little stuffy in here. Put it down the, the bridge of my nose. A little right here. This is MAC. I know. It's bad. I'm using another product, but Unique does not have a, an illuminator, so I have to use it because I can't have a night out face without it. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows. This is medium pencil, medium brow gel. And we're going to holler at these guys here a little bit, wake them up. My brows are becoming very sparse. I've talked to them and told them not to do it and they're doing it anyway. So. Shame on them. If they can leave, that's fine. I have these products to fill them in. Okay. See the difference? Wow. Okay. So then I'm going to do this eye. I kind of just circle it in.
You get the idea. Okay. I'm going to brush these guys out a little bit. Yes, you have to make the sound effects for it to work. Or do whatever you want. You could just entertain yourself while making your makeup from day to night. Okay, there's the brows. Now I'm going to do my shadow. Okay, I'm going to take a deluxe, the deluxe brush from Unique. And I'm going to use my palette too. It's our Moodstruck Addiction palettes. And they're called that for a reason because they are quite addicting. Um, anyway, I'm going to take the color Honorable and sweep that across my lower lid. Brush that up a little bit into the upper eye there. A little more honorable on this eye. Sorry, it's a necessity for me to look like a large mouth bass when I'm putting on my eyeshadow. I'm trying not to do that. But I feel like it doesn't look the same unless I do it. Okay, all right. I just do it. You can't stop me. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to take this color called Blissful. It's kind of shimmery. And I love this angled shadow sponge brush. Those are from like the 80s, I feel like, the sponges. But this one has like a silicone texture to it so it doesn't... You don't get fallout. So I'm going to put this on the inner section of my eye. You can wet these too. Typically I would just lick the edge of my brush and gross all of you out. I'll do that in a minute when I put on the eyeliner. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. And you're going to roll with me. you got to deal with it. I am not a makeup artist. I don't even pretend to be. And I'm probably doing it all wrong. But what ifs? I should be a makeup artist. I've spent so much money throughout the years on makeup that by default I should just become one. Okay, so then I'm going to go take a big fluffy brush. Let's see. I'll use this one. This is my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to um, go for this color. Its name is Cocky and it's almost black. So... Blend that together. Okay. Take it again over here. Day to night look. Because just face it, a lot of us don't have time to get ready from scratch after being at work all day or, you know, doing things on a Saturday. So we're just going to layer a day look or a night look over a day look here. And we're going to deal with it. Okay. So I'm going to take just a brush that doesn't really have anything on it. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out on the corners there. See that? Okay. There's that for the top. All right, where's... I'm missing a little brush here. Oh no, where'd it go? I just have so many, oh there it is. It's hiding from me. Okay, 
All right, we're going on 10 minutes here. Okay, so we're gonna do the bottom. We're gonna smoke that out. I'm using the color Cocky. I'm just gonna kinda of have it blend with that guy. Oh my gosh, I just threw my brush. All right, I have too many things in my hands here. See the difference? Okay, oh, my back itches. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I know this is gross, you guys, I'll do it. I'm gonna lick my brush a tiny bit and tap that. People say they get grossed out every time I do that. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. with eyeshadow. All right. I'm trying to do this video quickly and I don't have time to go get a paper towel that's damp. I mean, I could have done that prior, but I didn't. You can't make me. Sorry, I don't even know if you can see me here. I'm trying. It does make it a little more difficult that my eyelash is already done to do this part. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna vamp up my mascara a little more and do it on the bottom here first. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more on the top. You have the transplanting gel to your lashes that you had done this morning. Or I guess I'm doing it. Okay, fibers. I'm gonna wipe them off on the back of my hand so I don't get a whole bunch on there. I'm only just trying to make them a little longer than they were already. Some fibers are falling, that's okay. I'll get that off with my brush here at the end. Just make sure you seal these guys up. There's that. We're gonna go on to my next eye. There's a fiber, got it. It's gone, blew it off. If you don't want clumps, I highly suggest you do this. Sometimes those fibers like to have parties on my eyelashes. And clump together. Okay. Now for the final step of me going from a day look to a night look is the lipstick. My new favorite color is pretentious. pretentious? Am I saying that right? Pret 
pretentious, whatever. It's the bright pink stuff. Okay. There you have it, everyone. I'm ready to go out. Do I look pretty? Okay. Uh, it only took me 15 minutes to just jazz myself up from day to night. So if you have any questions, let me know. And you guys have a great night. I know I'm going to. Bye. Stop.